Today, I'm talking about physical touch on first dates. Should you hold hands? Should you lean in? Should you kiss her on first date? That's what I'm talking about today. All right, and before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Ruby, a dating coach for the good intentioned gentleman. Speaking of the good intentioned gentleman, I get a lot of questions around physical touch and barriers, especially for the first date from my clients because because uh, my kind of clients are they consider themselves really good guys and good gentlemen they're normally more introverted reserved and shy so they obviously don't want to make a woman feel uncomfortable they don't want to cross any boundaries so they want to lean to the sides of not doing anything at all but at the same time they know that if you don't do anything you may not show interest. And if you don't show interest, she doesn't know she's interested in you and then you get friend zoned. So it can be a very confusing topic. So that's why I wanted to definitely discuss this today. So one of the main questions, right, is should you? Should you reach for her hand? Should you put your arm over her? Should you kiss her at the end of the date? Well, my answer to that is depending on her responses and depending on your chemistry and connection. I know, kind of vague, but that's what it really is. I'm pretty sure you know that there are definitely people who've kissed on a first date and embraced, but also at the same time, you know that there are people who didn't kiss on the first, second date, but they're in a happy relationship now. So it's not necessarily a determinant to if you will succeed in the relationship dating portion. It really is about where are you two in this date? What's happening? Do you feel the sparks are flying, right? So the first part is looking at her responses. Is she really receptive to everything you're saying? She's laughing at all your jokes. She's um, very, her nonverbals are are very intimate, right? In the sense of intimate and sense of she's leaning in and listening to you. She's, she's maybe potentially playing with her hair, but more importantly, she kind of like taps your shoulder when she's cracking a joke. She's kind of leaning in if you're next to her, kind of like, you know, uh, shrugging a little bit at you. Uh, if she does any of that, she's reaching out. Is she reaching out to you? If she is, that's a green la that's a green flag right there. So what I'll say. So I would suggest to reach back out, hold her hand, link arms, put your uh, arm over her shoulder. If you guys are walking, sitting on a bench, make it happen. See if she's reaching out right and if she is it's really up to you if you want to end the date with the first kiss i would normally say just make sure to end it with a very long long embrace if anything you can kiss her on the cheek but save that first kiss for the next date it's exciting you know but if you really feel like you want to kiss her and you can really tell she wants to kiss you you can feel it that there's actually no question to that i don't think you would need this advice if you had the, if you if you felt that now, what if it's kind of vague? You know, you guys are having a good day. You, you are really vibing. You're having a great connection. You're having great discussions. But, you know, there isn't any kind of overt response or outreach from her. I would say at that point, only use physical touch when you are being playful. That's always safe. So when you're cracking a joke, once again, you can kind of like tap her shoulder, lean in a little bit like this. If you guys are walking, exploring the town and it's cold, you know, you can kind of be next to her and just kind of, you know, bump into her and be like, man, it's really cold out here, huh? And kind of make those playful gestures <clears throat> and, uh, and, and, and outreach in that way and see how she responds. See if she pulls away or if she stays. And if she stays, that's actually a good thing. It doesn't mean she needs to reach back out. It just means she likes it, you know, and she'll, she'll accept it. I think as long as you make those outreaches, that's already showing interest. As long as in conversation, you're leaning in, you're getting closer to her seat wise, where you're sitting, like all those minimal small things still is showing a bit of interest and you're not friend zoning yourself as people say um and then the most important I, the most important gesture here in regards to physical touch that makes sure the interest is there is at the end of the date the long embrace so if you really like her make sure you go in for that hug and when i say hug don't do the tap one arm hug oh it's nice meeting you and that's it that really confuses ladies if you really like her both arms embrace Hold it longer than you normally would a friend, you know, pull back, look at her and say you had a really good time. 
you know, and that you hope to do this again, and then let go. That's really, really, really important. That long embrace that doesn't feel like you would do that to a friend. Maybe, but I don't know. I hug my friends, but not that long, right? So make sure you hold the embrace. And that's the minimum, I would say, if you're unsure to do for a first date. That's it. If, if there's no other signs, if there's no other things she's giving you, I would say don't cross boundaries because some ladies are slow to warm up. And even if, even if she pulls away the first couple times on the first date, don't take it to heart. Like I said, some women aren't as comfortable with physical touch right away. So what I would say to that is just keep track of that. And if she keeps doing that second and third date, because obviously she wants to keep dating you, if she keeps doing that, then you can obviously bring it up. You know, at some point you can say, hey, I've noticed, you know, every time I reach for your hand or arm, you, you pull away and I don't want to cross any boundaries. So I just want to talk about, you know, how comfortable you feel with physical touch. That's it, you would just bring it up. All right, that's it guys. So it depends, kind of read the room, read her. How do you feel, right? Um, if you feel you want to reach out, reach out. But in those small, normally in the playful ways, don't get too serious. It's normally on second, third dates where you really lean in and make that attraction happen, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helps. Continue on those first dates and hey, be playful and tap her on the shoulder, <laughs> I'd say. All right, thanks guys for watching.